What is up everybody? Dan, Dan the Fireman here. Today we're gonna to be talking about four things. What are you doing? Okay, four things all motorcycle riders need to look for. That's one of them, an uncommon thing. That guy is switching across multiple lanes. But uh, the goal here is to keep you safe if you're a beginner rider and you don't know how to ride, you don't even know where to start. We do have an online academy. Basically zero experience beginner rider within three hours of that. So sign up, links in the description. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Roadway users, that was one of them. Uh, side of the vehicle is a big, a big one, especially going to intersections. So if you don't know what a side of the vehicle is, it's a pattern that we all look for when we're coming up to intersections. Um, pretty much, yeah, intersections. So coming up to this intersection uh, right away, we're gonna start recognizing that. But that one over there, that was somebody doing something a little bit uncommon. They pulled off to the side. They don't normally do that. Uh, especially when uh, they have their lights on and everything and it's just kind of awkward and weird and then they uh, switch lanes So there's a the side of the vehicle right there. That's something that we're looking for at intersections So if we had a left turner coming out here, we'd see the side of it We've got to watch out for that. So that pattern is very important. We've got to watch out for open lanes We talk about that all the time on the live stream over at Dana and the fireman open lanes are dangerous because that gives an opportunity for a roadway user to jump right in. Think of it this way. Do you like having an open lane like I do right now? Somebody else loves it too. They're going to try to take it. So be very careful with that. I think we have a side of the vehicle coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up a little bit. There's the side of the vehicle. That's another thing. So it could be a right turner, it could be a left turner. It all depends, but it all situates around intersections. So intersections, you're covering your brakes you're looking for hazards, you're planning your ride, you located a hazardous situation, you're gonna assess if it's a relevant threat, might have to progressively break, slow it down, orange stage, everything we talk about in that course I mentioned at the beginning. The next thing we gotta watch out for is road surface hazards. Okay, I'm gonna keep a space cushion here. This guy's going a little bit slow up the hill, so I'm gonna roll up the throttle, maintain this decent space cushion, and position myself a little bit. Plus stuff is flying outside of his, or out of the bed of his truck, and I don't want to get hit by any of that. So, uh, road surface hazards. Gotta watch out for potholes. Gotta watch out for gravel. Watch out for fresh paint, fresh tar, fresh anything. Uh, snow is a road surface hazard. We have a lot of these patch jobs on the uh, potholes, and we're gonna have some coming up, so you're gonna start seeing some of these things. So, when we're out talking about this, point out some of the things that I should be looking out for in the comments. So that middle area right there looks pretty terrible. This looks pretty terrible. We got some cracks. Uh, we got a little small little pothole. We got some bigger potholes. So what I like to do, especially when it's something like, you know, this, it's not super bad. Like right here, it looks pretty terrible. Oh my gosh, a little bit bumpy. Is I like to practice my swerves. I like to practice my adaptations. I like to practice switching lanes. So what I'm gonna be doing here is like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over here, lane position, center. I don't like doing one, two, three. Left, center, right works out for me. That's I'm gonna move over to the center. I'm gonna move over to the right just for a second, but I don't like it. So I move back over to the center and I'm gonna move over to the left because now I got a good line of sight up ahead. That's what I want. That's what I'm gonna get, position for safety. So always watch out for road surface hazards because in the middle of a turn, these things can be a big problem. Uh, right now going straight, not a big problem outside of big potholes that I gotta watch out for. It could damage my rim, blow up my tire, mess up my suspension, dump the bike, all these big problems. And that's why I keep a space cushion so I can see when they come up. Think of like Guitar Hero on slow mode. That's what good space cushion is all about. Play Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero on fast mode, be right on somebody's butt. Try it out. It's not gonna work very well. You gotta be an expert and you can't make a mistake. So watching out for the big open lane here. Anybody want to switch into my lane because they don't want to turn left? Nope. Okay. Now I can lane filter in Arizona. I just choose not to because this is only like three cars and I'm going to be turning right at the next light anyways. There's no rush. Plus I want to talk to you guys. So watch out for road surface hazards, especially coming up from a stop. Okay. So if I accelerate really hard right now and there's a lot of gravel on the ground, that rear tire is going to spin. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want to keep traction. Traction's good. Traction's real good. The next thing is signage. Okay, none of these signs, but we're talking about the ones that are important, like left lane only, no U-turns. We have lights is a good sign. Uh, we have the signage for the roads. We have a stop sign on the other side of that where they have to stop. We're gonna look at a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna go down an area where there might be some chevrons, and that's gonna indicate sharp turns. Even if it doesn't feel sharp to you, 
it is indicated that they are and we're going to take that in and we're going to assess if it's a relevant hazardous situation or just assess if it's a relevant threat and if we have to we'll navigate and we'll get ourselves out of there okay here's a little crack i don't like so that's a road surface hazard we're going to turn right and right here it says we have a yield sign in the right area so that means i have to watch out for anybody that is wanting to come out behind me or not behind me but to my left so watch out for gravel so if you noticed just in this area I have to look for roadway users, I have to look for the road surface hazards for gravel, and I had to look for signage. So we're on the good path, and we know what we need to do. Okay, so watch out for roadway users, road surface hazards. I don't see any signs. It said it was 50. I'm going to go ahead and go 50, and we are good to go. So always look out for chevrons, look out for caution signs. Caution signs in the United States are typically orange, orange stage, very good. Uh, maybe a little yellow, still zoned in. Got to watch out for stop signs, very important. Red, it means you got to do something. Right here we have uh, an orange sign. It's going to be an intersection. So when we talked about roadway users, watch out for that. We have uh, a, a left and then a right, 35 miles per hour recommended. Chevrons, that's what I'm talking about here. We got to be looking out for those. Now, this is an easy turn. Got some gravel. Easy turn, but my goal isn't to take these turns quickly. It's a blind turn, too. My goal is to constantly scan and constantly to look for any road surface hazards, road, anything, anything, anything. Be very careful. So we got speed limit right here. And so now the next thing, let's go ahead and figure out what it is that we need to do here. And that's gonna be escape paths. We need to be looking out for escape paths. Now, what do we have? So we have, uh, we, ha we have the intersection, we have a road sign, we have a curve. We gotta watch out for roadway users, gravel. So where can I swerve into in case something comes into my lane? I could swerve into the bike lane. Not a big deal. Bike lane, very good. Get right back into it. And there we are. So when I talked about left, center, right, so if we're in the center, if there's a roadway, uh, I'm sorry, road surface hazard on the uh, in the center, I could swerve to the right. And now I'm still in my lane, not a big deal. Now there's a road surface hazard in the right, I could swerve to the left. Not a big deal. Let me turn off my Cardo Pack Talk Bold. I'm sorry, Pack Talk Edge, real quick. And uh, there's some gravel right here on the left. So if I was over here, I could swerve to the right. So there's all these different things that you can do when it comes to motorcycle riding. You could just swerve or move off into your own lane. But if somebody really is blocking your lane, that was the side of the vehicle for a quick second. If somebody's blocking your lane, you can go into a lane filtering position on that double yellow, or you could find this spot and you can get into the bike lane if you had to. Don't wanna stay there too long because there's gonna be gravel, cops don't like it, vice versa. But you can always explain to the cop you're trying to get yourself out of a dangerous situation by doing that. We have this sign right here. So when we talked about the four things that we need to be looking out for, this is a continue, if you notice, it's a continuous thing. I don't just say, hey, look for roadway users and then that's it. Once I say it, you're done. You don't have to look anymore. No, no, no. We look for roadway users, road surface hazards. We have signage right here. I don't know if anybody's in my lane right here, so I'm going to position myself over here and plan my ride. I'm going to get back into the middle. We got signage again. It's a left turn. It's a sharp turn. And here's the thing, for the speed limit. So if you're going faster than speed limit, it's already going to be a sharper, sharper turn. It's going to be harder. It's a 40 mile an hour speed limit. Cars, it's meant for cars, motorcycles, I get it. We could probably go 60 and still handle it. But you don't know if there's gonna be a road surface hazard like gravel. You don't know if anybody's gonna be pulling out in front of you because they're expecting you to go 30 or 40. You don't know if there's going to be uh, an escape path for you if any of these things happen. So it's always best to go the speed limit. It's always best to ride your own ride and to follow these four things so you don't mess up. Now we do have that academy. It's only three hours long, the, the basic training course. Check it out. It talks more in depth on anything here. Check it out. $4.99 right now for the first month. The price is going to go up next year. But uh, with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, I'll see you guys around.